Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can install SQL Server 2017 Express Edition on your local machines and SQL Server Management Studio on your machines. So let's just talk about how we can do that. Go to the Google and just type SQL Server 2017 Express Editions and just click on SQL Server this is our SQL Server 2017 Express Editions. Click on download now. Once our file is downloaded, I will install it in our local machines. Uh, go to the download section. Here is your exe file SQL Server 2017 SSE. Double click on this there is a pop-up window will come up with the getting this ready things so there is three options select an installation type so one is the basic one custom one and download media you can select whatever you need i'm going to click on download media and it will ask you for the language uh, my language will be the default one the english one and which package would you like to download is so there is express core express advanced and local db so i'll go with the express core one because i need the sql server engine only and if you need you know the full tech services reporting services then you can go with the advanced one and the local db one so i'm going with the express core one and you can choose the location also where you want to download it and now just click on download your setup file will be downloaded here itself. I'll just pause the video and we'll come back once it is completely downloaded. Uh, now my download is completed and there is our SQL Server exe is here. Just double click on it. Click on yes and it will ask you to you know choose the directory where you want to you know just download things just click on ok i have the default one selected here you can see here there is a folder created over here <coughs> here is your uh, sql server express folder is downloaded and there you have you know set a file over here you have to do nothing and by default there will be a pop-up here and what you have to do is click on uh, install sql server management tools and it will open a pop-up here and it will take you to a download sql server management studio page where you have to download the sql server management studio ssms just click on the sql server management studio 18.1 here It will take a while to download it. Just click on save and it will take around 20 minutes to download it. I'll just pause the video and restart again. Once it is downloaded, go to your SQL Server Installation Center setup there and click on SQL Server Standalone Installations feature. Click on accept the license. In the Microsoft update section, uh, just check on use Microsoft update to check for update recommended and click on next. There will be installation setup file, just click on next and there will be install rules, just click on next. Click on next on feature selections uh, window also. Then there is a instance configuration section. So in the instance configuration section, we have default instances and the name instances. So you can the name instances is selected by default so you can put uh, you know your specific name to this name instances and can change the name instances id so i'm just gonna put sql express and same i'll just put the instances id and if you have already the instance of sql server there in your system it will come up here if not it is blank just click on next there you have service account 
So that is a SQL Server database engine is automatic and the SQL Server browser is disabled, which we don't need to enable. And just click on this, check this, grant perform volume maintenance task privilege to SQL Server database engine service and click on next. In the database engine configuration section, there is we have server configuration, data directories, temp DB, user instances, file stream. What we have to do is we have to just make changes to this particular server configuration section. And uh, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> there is two authentication modes. One is your Windows authentication mode, and the second one is your mixed mode. That is, <clears throat> you can either log in using Windows authentication or with your enter username and password. So in the mixed mode, you have both the option and the by default, you know, the username is SA and you have to enter a password for your system. So I'm going to put my password and click on next. Once that is done, your installation will be completed and we'll see after that. Our SQL Server 2017 setup is almost done. And after that, we'll install SQL Server Management Studio setup and that are the installations will be completed then. I'm just waiting for this completion and we'll start with SQL Server Management Studio installation. Now our SQL Server is installed and now what we have to do is we have to install SQL Server Management Setup which we have downloaded earlier. Just click on this and you'll have a pop-up with us. That is there. Click on Install. And this is our SQL Server Management Studio 2018. Click on Install and it will take a while to install the SQL Server Management Studio. The version is 18.1 right now. <coughs> Package file are getting installed. Once it is done, I'll just update. So now my setup is completed and I have to just close this one and go to my start menu. Just look for SQL Server Management Studio. There we go. Once it is open, we'll see then how we can connect to our SQL Server and how we can create new SQL Server, how we can create table, database over there. We'll see all these things. There we have SQL Server connector by which we can connect to a SQL Server. The first is the server type is database engine. Server name is, you know, our instance name which we have provided there. C SQL Express and authentication type is a window, Windows authentication by default. You can choose the SQL Server authentication also, which we have already defined. So by default, I'll connect with the Windows authentication first. We'll see that whether it's connect or not. Yes, so you can see in the left hand side section, we are connected to our SQL Server. If you go in a database section, there you will see a data system database, database snapshot. You can create a new database from here and let me just disconnect it and connect it again using SQL Server authentication. So we have provided username SA and I have my password with me. We'll see that it should work this way also. So you can see that it's working fine with both ways. We can simply create a database from here. Let me just create one database and database name is let me just put test and the owner is default and just click on ok <clears throat> we have a test database here and i can create there is a note system table by default so i can create new table from here which is our, you know, data table in SQL Server. And you can just put the name like first name, data type, where care, like we do. 
and so on and so forth you can do so uh, as the basic purpose is to show you that it's working perfectly fine this is the way how you can install sql server on your machines and can connect with your sql server so that's all for this video i hope you like the video if you do don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep watching learn and tech